And basically what we're going to do today is just uh, show you guys how, how to import uh, pickoffs from MEP. Uh, some of the stuff you see when you import jobs, how to change the job name, things like that. I create a different pickoff with the same job name. Then edit fittings and uh, make changes on the fitting in the nest. All right, so you guys can see as the duct make it open. It goes into the detail tab. Uh, in order to import jobs, after the job is being created in uh, MEP, uh, what you you know, and you create a pick off with a job name. What you need to do in DuckMaker, we have a tab on the top right of your screen. It's got that little page with the arrow point to the right. That's your import tab. If you click on the import. It's going to come up that I can import different options. I can import the AWG file, DXTAF, ECP, any of those files here will be imported into DuckMaker. So since we're going to import a pickoff, we're going to pick MEP pickoff, and then we're just going to go look for that file name. Normally, you know, you can save your files at any folders or your desktop, whatever you choose the location to be. So right now I have some jobs on my desktop. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to pick this one. Open. As you can see on the top of your screen, under, under the import, you're going to see all this fitting that get imported. Also on the bottom of it, it says problem, solution, category. What happens is a lot of times if you get a job from a different location, and your spec tables or your uh, configuration settings or your database it doesn't match, you got to see some of those uh, problems here. That's not really a problem. What you're going to need to do for solution, you need to map what matches to your uh, spec table. So I'm going to click on solution and it says, okay, that one's going to be my rectangle default. Also, that one will be the same thing. And we're going to choose a one inch water gauge. Wycom pits would just be a small Pittsburgh. And TDX should be equal to TDC. So once that's done, also, if you need to and you already want to, you know, have a job there, you want to map it to that job, or you can create a new job name. So by coming up here, you can just add it to any of those jobs, keep the same job name. If you want to change it, just create a new one. Just type it in. We can call it uh, East Coast. Drawing, just give it a name. Uh, we can call it Job. And then you can head it to this pickoff or you can create your own pickoff. So right now, I'm just going to create a new pickoff. We're going to call it 001. Also, it says re-nest pickoff. If you want to re-nest it or you want to nest it with the existing one. So we're going to click Done. And once it's done, all those fittings will be displayed under my Detail tab. As you can see, now all that fittings under the details. At this point, if you want to edit any of those fittings, do you want to change a piece number? On some of them, you want to change the system number, or you want to create it from label to be fabricated. You just double click on the line, the fittings you want to change. I said, on this one, I'm just going to change my material. Because I don't want to use aluminum, I only want to use galvanized. You can change it. And you can make the change accordingly. You can have the type to be two pieces, four pieces, and then click Done. Once that's done, and you had it all your fitting, you can also head a fitting. If somebody comes up to you and says, oh, you know, we'll figure out one of the fittings on the list. You can come over here and add any of those fittings or add to that list. Uh, we're going to come back here. We're going to add a, a rectangle raise elbow. So we're going to make the 24 by 12. 
And we're going to keep the width down. We'll make it 20. And we'll make this 10. Okay, then once you made all your changes, you click done. So now you had a fitting to that list that was missed on the on the pick off, and it'd be ready to nest it. The next step you got to be you come into the layout. You got to click on the left side of your screen if you want to display all the faces, and you can see all the fittings. Also, when you see a different colors on the facing fitting faces, that means you're probably using different material. So once you think everything looks okay, you just click that nest button and your job has been nested. At this point, if you want to move any of the pieces around or you want to delete any of the faces, you can do it right there from that screen. I mean, that's pretty simple. Just to move pieces around, you can just grab it and move them. If you want to delete some of those fittings, you can you can just highlight them, and you have the option there, either delete object or delete all the sheets. Delete all the sheets is going to delete the whole job. Okay, once you're done moving all the pieces around, this is my job is ready to go. You come over here, just click prepare a lot, and now the lot is ready to go down to the machine. Now what I'm going to do this. I'm going to import another job into this, and I want to show you when you want to combine the jobs. Let's say you already have an existing job, you want to add the next pick off into the same job. The process will be the same, it will be a duck maker pick off. I'm going to go look for that job, and pick this one, import. Okay, now we're going to import this into East Coast, the job, and we're going to keep, as you can see, on the bottom of your screen, it says import a pickoff will be combined with existing pickoff. That means you're going to have all those fittings on the same pickoff. Or, once again, you can choose a different pickoff, pickoffs, and that job will keep the same name, same job name, same drawing name, it will just be a different pickoff. So once again, we're going to come back here and change to map everything that we need. Uh, small Pittsburgh, the last one will be TDC. So now, click done. As you can see, now your list add all those fittings to that list. You know, once again, you can go back, go to layout. And you can just add that job to that list, to those fittings. And now it's all nested. I mean, as far as importing jobs, it's pretty simple. Once a job is created, MEP, that's, you know, the only thing you have to do is just import the job and just import it, make the changes accordingly, and nest it. And that's pretty much it, so importing jobs. Lou, I'm just curious about. Um, some of the other import options. I guess most of our customers use the MEP import. That's um, correct. Yeah. What happens if, I mean, if someone's only got a, a DXF or something, are the steps pretty much the same? Yeah, the, the steps are the same. When you come into the detail tab and you go to the import, you have multiple options what to import. Actually, as a matter of fact, if you want, we can just try to import a DXF file. You can do either do DXF, DWG, or ECP, which will be a job that was exported from DuckMaker, and then you can re-import it right back in. Uh, at this point, let's uh, choose a DXF file. Once so, again, Lou, can it, while you're doing that, I just got a quick question. Can you, so you can take some um, specialty uh, pieces inside of DuckMaker, export it, and then you can save it as a more of a commodity item that you can often uh, burn? That is correct. Fact, it's, a DW, it's a DWG file. You can export some of those pieces as a DWG file. But, you know, most of the customers that they use D, D, uh, DXF file just to import. It's more common to do that, but if you need 
if you ever need to export any of those jobs, you could. But it will be exported as pieces. As you can see, right now it says I use this piece all the time. If you, that's a custom part you always use, and you need to export that part to store it somewhere else, you can export this part as DWG, and then just give it a name, and just tell it uh, where you want it to go, and click Save. Now that job, that piece will be on my desktop, bottom top right, as you can see it. And if you need to re-import it, the process it will be the same thing. You come in, you come back to that details, import. That was a DWG file. Since I save it on my desktop, and it's right here. Open, and the part gets imported. And once you click done, that piece is being saved. It's being saved as a part. It was a DWG or DXF that is a custom part. That's all we need today. That will conclude our forum for today. And thanks for you guys coming in and attend the forum, and uh, I'll probably see you in a couple of weeks.